Hello, I'm Fleur and I'm from the Church of the Good Shepherd. I'm so glad that you're watching today. I'm going to be reading a story all about Daniel and it's a story from the Bible. The story is called Daniel and the Very Hungry Lions. Some books you just listen to as someone else reads them, but this book is different. Every time there is a word on the page that is a sound, you have to try and make the sound yourself. Shall we practice the sound a lion makes? Roar! 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 Now we're ready to start this true story from the Bible about a man called Daniel, a king called Darius, and some very hungry lions. Every day the people of Babylon woke up to the sound of the king's roaring, ravenous lions. Roar! Roar! Gnash! Gnash! And every day Daniel got out of bed, went to the window, knelt down and prayed to God. Daniel loved God and talked to him each and every day. Daniel trusted God and knew that he was in control of everything that happened. God had made Daniel wise and clever and honest. King Darius liked Daniel and put him in charge. Click, click, scratch, scratch, as Daniel worked away. But not everybody was happy. Mutter, 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 mutter. Some important men didn't like Daniel. They wanted to get rid of him. Plot, plot. What would they do? They came up with a clever, clever plan. Oh, great king, you must make a law that can never be broken. Anyone who prays to God must be fed to the roaring, ravenous lions. Grovel, grovel, as they groveled to the king. King Darius agreed, and he made a law that could not be broken. Now, what would Daniel do? Would he stop praying to God? Daniel loved God. Daniel served God. Daniel knew that God was in control. Think, think. Scratch, scratch. He knew that God could be trusted even if he was thrown to the roaring, ravenous lions. So each and every day he went to his window, knelt down and carried on praying to God. What do you think happened next? The nasty men had Daniel arrested and taken before the king. Stamp, stamp, clink, clink. King Darius was sad. He knew he had been tricked. He didn't want to feed Daniel to the roaring, ravenous lions, but he had made a law that could not be broken. King Darius ordered the men to throw Daniel into the den filled with the roaring, ravenous lions. Thump, thump, bump, bump. The king said to Daniel, May the God you serve save you. A great stone was put over the entrance and all went quiet. What would the lions do? King Darius couldn't sleep. He was so worried about Daniel. Toss, toss, turn, turn and he was cross that he had been tricked. Would God 
keep Daniel safe from the roaring, ravenous lions. What do you think? Just as the sun was rising, King Darius ran to the den. Rush, rush, puff, puff. He called out, Daniel, are you there? Did God save you from the roaring, ravenous lions? Yes, called Daniel. God sent an angel who shut their mouths. The stone was rolled away and Daniel came out alive and well. There was not a single scratch on him. Now where are those evil men who tricked me, said Darius. I wonder what would the king do? He ordered the men be thrown into the den. Roar, roar, crunch, crunch. Where the very hungry lions ate them all up for breakfast. King Darius learned something important that day. He told everyone in his kingdom, the God that Daniel loves and serves, the God who rescued Daniel from the roaring, ravenous lions, is the one true God who lives forever. The End I hope you've enjoyed the story and don't forget, God made you very special and he loves you very much. Goodbye for now. <laughs>